Thanks for tuning in to Cupcakes and Coupons. I'm coming to you today with a haul from CVS. I guess you can call it my Black Friday haul, although I went this morning, which is Saturday morning. Rainy Saturday morning at that. Okay, so I'll get started. First transaction, This, these are the only two items I got. Um, of course, both of these items were giving out extra care bucks. The nail polish, I mean, I have so many of these, <laughs> um, was on sale for $4.99, giving out a $4 register reward, and the M&Ms were... 75 cents giving out a 75 cents extra care buck. So my total for transaction number one was about $5.74. And um, by the way, I went in with one $5 extra care buck. That is all that I had as far as extra care bucks go and so i used it on my first transaction and i spent 74 cents on transaction number one going into transaction number two I have a $4 register, I mean, extra care buck and a 75 cents register, extra care buck. I don't know why I want to say register reward. I did not even go to Walgreens um, this week. Okay, transaction number two. When I tell you I should have the cleanest teeth <laughs> and my family should have the cleanest teeth around, these are the three items that I purchased. Of course, the, don't know where that came from, but the two um, toothpastes were on sale for $2.87 each and producing a $2.87 register reward. I had one dollar off coupon. I don't know why I didn't have more. And to be honest with you, I, I, I forgot to look. I forgot to look to see if I had more. But this time around, I did take in a 30 cents off coupon for the Carmex. So here goes um, this transaction. 287 times 2, 574. Take away $1 coupon for one of the Colgate totals and um one 30 cents coupon for the Carmex. Let's just go like this because I am just all over the place. So anyway, I ended up paying 69 cents before tax on this one. See? 
subtotal 69 cents. And that is transaction number two. Transaction number three consists of this lovely razor. I think the lighting is really bad because it's raining outside and it's just uh, a yucky day. Um, okay, how about we take this back because this does not belong in this transaction. This is the only thing I got in transaction number three. This was $12.49. I had a $3 off manufacturer coupon. I also used my $5.74 um, extra care buck from the toothpaste and the dollar extra care buck from the CarMax. So I ended up paying $2.75 for this. And check it out. This is for energy. I will let you know if it works. Okay. My final transaction has a lot more. I got this. Oh my gosh, you cannot see it. I got two of the Listerine pocket packs. I've never tried these. Maybe I have like forever ago. But I had coupons and I was just really going in this store. This is the last store I went to. I went to one store yesterday and two stores this morning. And my last store had so many items left. I was really excited about it. I also picked up Look at this. This looks like the same color that I had to take back to CVS on yesterday. But this was a different location and it rang up fine. No problems at all. And this here, hadn't been able to find it at any store, any location and finally found it today. And they had about three of them, and my coupon was a dollar off of two, and of course it produced a two dollar register reward. Okay, M and M's and Twix. Okay, so on my final transaction, I ended up saving twenty four dollars and ninety two cents. But out of pocket, I paid $12.64. And on top of that, I got back so many register rewards. So I spent $12.64, like I said, out of pocket and ended up getting back $16.48 and extra care bucks. I actually believe that I redeemed myself today. Um, I guess I could have done a lot better if I would have broken up my last transaction into um, several transactions. But I I didn't want to. I mean, I'll have the extra care bugs for next week or whenever I decide to use them. I'll try to show you. 
everything that I picked up. Yeah, that is everything. It was a great haul. I'm going to show you that I, again, went in prepared. I had my transactions kind of figured out. I didn't know if they were going to have everything that I was looking for, but I still tried to figure them out to the best of my ability. And my favorite transaction this time was for the vitamins because I actually, that's the only one that I came. Um, my sheet said I should spend $2.75 out of pocket and that's exactly what I spent. I mean, you see, there was only one item, but I had different um, scenarios written down depending on what the store may have but yeah going in with the plan is the best way to do things because it'll it'll go a lot smoother another tip is to have a plan a b and c just in case they don't have what you're looking for the first day i went in didn't work out i only had a plan a but this time i knew i should have done it then, but this time I made sure I had a plan A, B, and C, just in case. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, I forgot to say, I wanted to say one thing. Paying $12.64 out of pocket was kind of like I paid for the vitamins. They were um, $12.49. It was like paying for the vitamins and getting everything else here you see for free. That's one way of looking at it. But with all of the, the registry, I mean the extra care bucks, I mean... Is also like getting everything free because pretty much the everything on here gave you back exactly what was paid this gave back a seven dollar registry reward and that is why I got it and the razors only gave back a three dollar registry reward but everything else well except for the nail polish gave back um, basically what I spent out okay that is it. Bye-bye.